Hi guys, you are welcome again to my YouTube channel. Should in case you are new to this channel, my name is Farmer Tanto. I'm a grassroots environmental activist. I'm a farmer. I'm a social entrepreneur. So thank you for always coming back to my channel. Thank you for always subscribing. You know, I am setting up an eco village in Baminda Up Station, and in this eco village, I'm trying to demonstrate with varieties of uh, various types of plants. And today, I want to do some transplanting. You know, of um, a special guava. You know, in one of the videos, I shared with you how I was in India and I was eating guavas in a hotel in New Delhi and I was so, you know, amazed by this type of guava that I've never seen before. So I harvested this, I removed the seeds of this guava with a toothpick and put it in my wallet. When I came and nest in my eco village, it took three months to germinate. And now I planted the main stems of the guava and it, after one year it started producing and it gave me the exact size that I saw in India. So I harvested from these seeds and I nest them. Now it has produced, it took two weeks to germinate. I was like, wow. So today I want to mix, do a, comp, a mixture of soil and manure so that I can put in polythene bags and transplant these guavas, you know. So here with me, I have a soil that I already prepared and mixed with some little sand. And now I have some organic manure. Oh, I need to mix this. If this is organic manure. <clears throat> oh man, you know, organic farming promotes good health. Manuring the soil is a key. So this is decomposed pig dung that I want to mix with this uh, soil mixture with sand and put in the polythene bags. And I'm going to transplant the Indian guavas. Wow. Mm. Wow. So here I did an open bed nursery in a tire and I harvested the seeds of the Indian guava and I had to nurse them here. Look at nice beautiful seedlings that have germinated. So I want to transplant all of this in the polythene pot. Wow. So the first thing I need to water. Wow, I need to water, then allow for some few minutes. Let the water soak the soil so that I can uproot the seedlings and dress their roots. And I transplant in the polythene bags. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've just uprooted the guava seedlings, so now I need to dress the roots and I have to transplant in the polythene bags. And by March, in three months time, it will be ready for planting. Wow, so I'm now in my lap. <laughs>
Okay. Hi viewers, I just finished uh, transplanting some Indian guavas into polythene bags. Now I have about um, over 300 seedlings here, man. And the journey of this Indian guava started only with 10 seeds, you know. I remember I told you in one of the videos how I sat in India and I was eating Indian guavas in New Delhi. I extracted just 10 seeds, eh? came and nursed it, planted it. Now I have Indian guavas growing in my eco village. Now I can multiply the seedlings. So I just believe that you know, this is a revolution. At some point in future, I'm going to propagate about 5,000 of these seedlings and empower young people to get back into agriculture so that they can start plantations of guavas like this. And someday we might even be exporting guavas out of Cameroon. Remember I told you, agriculture is the future of Africa. We need to get back to the soil and i'm advocating and inspiring and encouraging every young person if you are frustrated in the city please just get back to your ancestral roots you know there is vast land in the rural communities statistics has shown that 60 percent of arable land in africa is still unexploited and it is high time that we need to get back into the soil because the soil never fails i'm also encouraged encouraging Everybody building the city of Baminda or any city around the world, please always provide space for landscape designs, for planting of fruit trees, flowers, lawns, etc. Because if you plant something that you can eat, harvest and eat, it is so fulfilling. When you have vegetation around your home, it regulates the temperature of your home. It brings nature closer to your doorsteps. You know, it is surprising that a lot of people who just build and pave all their yards, when they are stressed up, you know, the property is not more interesting to them. They prefer to go and sit in gardens. Why not create gardens around your doorsteps so that you can bring nature closer to your doorsteps? You can bring birds, butterflies, you know, insects. Wow. Nature at your doorsteps. Let us go back and plant trees. Thank you for always subscribing. Thank you for always sharing. Together, we are going to make Africa great. Africa must be transformed. I am farmer. No farmer, no future. Peace and blessings.